Hi everyone, I'm Anastasia. And I am Kostis. And we are the Greeks. And welcome to another reaction video. So for everyone who is the first for, for here for the first time, we are Greeks living in the UK and we usually react to Eurovision, but now Eurovision is over. So we asked you people to recommend artists uh, from your own countries and that's what we start doing here yes and also for those who don't know we're usually three people instead of just the two of us it's just that our third person is quite busy at the moment doing a lot of excellent things exactly because explain to the world what we're doing today so today we are reacting uh to maria pezek i don't know if I pronounced it correctly. Uh, Andre Icons recommended Maria to us. Maria is from Poland, a Polish artist. And the song we are reacting is Zubi to... Oh, I'm not going to try to pronounce we it. We were just going to write it somewhere. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be written in the title of the video. Yeah, we cannot... I cannot pronounce that. It's only... Yeah, I I'm not gonna attempt that. I'm, no, we're no. sorry. We just don't want to butcher other languages. Is that because I feel like I'm ignorant for not knowing them. Yeah, uh, I feel like I'm ignorant too. So let's go and have a look what uh, this Maria Pesek is about. Three, two, one, go. Very atmospheric music. Oh, the dog. I know. I love these aesthetics. I really wish I was on vacation right now. Right now. <laughs> I know, right? I don't know what they're saying, what I'm getting. I don't know. I get very lesbian story here. Something, something gay is happening. But are they two? two different people it's two different people but the voice is one person so i don't know if they are maria any of them is maria i hate things involved with food like things like that even if it's like in a movie gives me the ick oh like, i like it it's sexy it when it has like food and stuff i feel like it's such a waste of the food okay it's totally a, a queer situation here yeah it's a very nice song i really really like it i just you wish you knew what they were talking about yes and number two i don't know if it would be a eurovision song with a song like that at eurovision you can either win or lose like either people will yes, get really aesthetic. behind yeah. it or it will go last i like the aesthetics andre translated to us uh, when he recommended it it means it, the first word is the f word and then it's everything so f everything it reminds me of the Paramore lullabies. Okay. Ooh, I, I like this part. Me too. There is definitely storytelling here. Yes. See, okay, so whenever you talk about women's sexuality, you have to use fruit because everything else would be banned. So I think that's what it represents. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Like when she was putting your fingers in the fruit. Whenever you go in and you learn, like, there is a, a, a sexual education class. Yeah. Or they need to, like, show you something on Instagram and it's like, um, yeah, they will use fruit. Yeah. And it, it's, but it's not only for the women, like, especially, like, we've seen it. In uh, the movie Call Me By Your Name, where he had a very nice interaction with the pits, you know, <laughs> the pits is represents a very specific body. Yes, type. yes, but it's like, I think it, it's, yeah, yeah, no, I think it's with everything, but yeah. it's like a very specific thing. Yeah, which makes sense, you know, fruits are juicy and uh, <laughs> yeah, the and situations so, um, can be juicy. <laughs> Yeah, and some of them, like, the anatomy looks very yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, they look similar, the, anat the anatomy of the human body with some fruits. Yes. But yeah, anyway, so I, I, like, I would love to see a song like that represent Poland, actually, especially Poland, after what we had yeah. last year. And that's the other thing, that, like, it's going to be so difficult to do that unless mm. they want to take away, like, honestly, I think if the Eurovision like board um went back to them and was like well you can't really do this the same way that when Russia was being part of Eurovision because they have really strict laws of, yeah. um for like for gay people basically they were mm. not broadcasting certain songs and the Eurovision board went to them and was like, if you're not broadcasting them, we're banning you. Yeah. So they should go back and be like, what is this? What is this? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. I hope I I I really wish Poland next year will do like a leap in their situation and uh do something different, go a step forward, learn from the mistakes. Although I don't think the national broadcaster will think that what they did was a mistake because they actually did well at the leaderboard <laughs> at the end. So, yeah. <laughs> so they will think that they are, oh, which I was right. But yeah, I'm, uh, Andre, thank you very much for recommending us this song. Yeah. This was a very nice song. Like and apart from Eurovision, I would love to listen to it. I like after we finish this, I will check the lyrics for sure because I'm very interested. Would you would you listen to a song like that? Outside I would. That? I would. I do listen to songs like that. Yeah, me too. Me I too. Do. Yeah. Okay. That was great. Thank you very much, Dre. And thank you everyone for watching. Uh like the video if you liked it subscribe to our channel uh because we have a lot more reactions coming and see you very soon at another video bye